Okay, so there are videos going around to show your crochet cart. I don't have a crochet cart, but I'm going to give you a brief tour of my little corner of the living room where I do my crocheting. So this is my chair with the penguin fleece that's always there. There's the little hedgehog that I just finished this morning. There's the elephant that I just finished a few minutes ago while watching a video about somebody else's crochet cart. Next to it, I have this three bin cart, not cart, it's not a cart, three cube storage bin that I got at a garage sale. On top, I've got the plastic bin that I usually take with me for road trips. I put a bunch of scrap yarn in there and a few patterns and use that on road trips. Then I've got some skeins from previous projects. You might recognize the yarn from the recent Rainbow Hedgehog. Um, there's some walnut yarn that I used for making a dachshund a little while ago. Um, I think there's some golden yarn in the back from Nuggets. Then on the bottom, we have, oh, we got another thing of yarn. And there's a project bag in there for a project. I don't even know what it is. I started it so long ago. And then on the bottom, that red case has safety eyes all sorted out into little um, baby food containers. And there's some blanket yarn that is just waiting to be made into something. There's my little craft basket that I put in my lap when I'm working. The only work in progress I have right now, active work in progress, is um, the anemone hat that I'm working on. Okay, when you go over here, the ottoman, which is no longer used as an ottoman, it's just a storage space for my patterns and little cakes of yarn from previous projects. And all of these notebooks have patterns in them. Well, the blue one there in the front has inventory, um, notes, uh, the indexes for all of the other notebooks, and like my craft show spreadsheets. It's, it's spreadsheets, mostly spreadsheets. And then I have a nine cube bookcase. Yes, there's a bag of stuffing between the chair and the bookcase. A um, little bit of everything. There's patterns and paper and all that in the first one here. Then there's a box that has safety eyes and my pins and my light. And yeah, that tissue over at the side, that's from when I use the tulip paints. And I want to wipe off the pin. Let's see if I can find it here. There is one pin. Is it yellow? Yes. This pin I use to unclog the tulip paints. And that's why I have the little black tulip paint spot on there. So I have a tissue over there for wiping the paint off. Um, there's another box with ribbon and... That blue cord that you see is the little crocheted cord that holds my scissors. I put my scissors on a chain so they're easy to find. And I still spend a lot of time looking for them. Um, half of these little cubby holes I very rarely use. Over in that cubby over there, there's the yarn that I use for making egg scrubbies that I send with Etsy orders. Since I haven't mailed out an Etsy order in close to a month, I have not gotten into that cubby lately, but there's some yellow scrubby type yarn way back in the corner and then the white that I use for the rest of the egg scrubby. Um, down there, I've got a cubby that's got various pens and markers. I've got some spare crochet hooks in here. This usually goes with me on road trips too. I don't have all of the matching set in here, but um, so I have extra hooks around. I picked this up someplace, I don't know, coupon item. So I've got some of my more used hooks, a flashlight, tape, hand lotion, chapstick, my brush for when I do um, want to make things fuzzy. 
I've got a little scale that I got at Harbor Freight for weighing up yarn, all sorts of um, pens and spare crochet hooks, my ever-present water bottle. This little thing my husband got with a Skechers order. And it's just a cool little stand when I'm watching videos and I prop up my phone so I can watch them. My granddaughter's Moana clip that I forgot to take back to her. A couple times ago when I went down to visit her down in Pennsylvania, when I came home, I found this clipped to my yarn and I took like a selfie wearing it, sent it to her. And um, I need to get it back to her one of these days. My collection of little tulip yarns, tulip, it's like tulip slick multi-dimensional. Use that when I want to paint eyes or something on. Huh. There's, there's an old cell phone that doesn't work anymore. Here's an old cell phone that doesn't work anymore. I think I need to recycle some cell phones. I kept this one. This was my last cell phone before the one I'm using. Thinking I could use it for Etsy and stuff like that, but it stopped connecting to our home internet. So it doesn't really work. I don't want to have to go to some place that's got Wi-Fi just to be able to work on my phone. Just some little scraps of yarn. I use this for putting on price tags. Um, just a little scrap of yellow yarn that is left over from a project and it didn't get into the scrap bin yet. So that's about it. It's messy, but it's my area. And oops, that's my that's where my husband sits over there. He has his books, his lamp, and I sit over here. Just two old folks at home. So I'm going to sign off now. You can't see my hand waving. I'm going to sign off now and get some more work done. My husband's out for a bike ride. When he gets home, I'll be making dinner. So I probably can get a good start on some little project now. 